Okay. I mean, how I normally start this is um, I always, because I get an international audience, and so they, they it would be great just to start off with where you were born and raised because it, it helps tell the story okay. of Stacey Frost. So where, where yeah. were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Um, and I, I went to a music, I went to a performing arts um, sort of high school. So um, I started, I started singing in church at a very young age. I thought I started singing at four, but my mother tells me I was singing as young as two years old. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so I was singing in the choir all my young life. And then um, I did musicals in high school. And so at 16, I got my first professional job in the show that I mentioned to you called Mama I Want to Sing. And then later on, I was brought to London to star in that show um, uh, alongside Shaka Khan. Oh, how old were you then? And we did that. Uh, I was 24. Okay. So this is before Ex-Girlfriend, you, 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 you were doing the shows? No, it was, act- it was actually after. I got signed to Ex-Girlfriend when I was 17. Okay. Okay. So so you were mm-hmm. singing in high school. So how did you then get into, because I think some of them, um, how did you get into, uh, how, did you, how did that happen? I mean, and actually, I guess, when you were singing at that young age, what was your dreams and, and, and okay, ambition? Okay, so, yeah, right, let me clear it up. So at, six, at 16, I got my mom to sing the show in New York. Okay. Okay, so they had a show in New York that was running in New York. So at 16, I was in the show in New York. I was starring in that show, and then I left, and I did the ex-girlfriend thing. And then when they went to London, I went to London as a star as well. So okay. just to sort of put that together. So, um, what was your question? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but uh, but as as a 16 year old and, and even 15 year old, yeah, did you was yeah. was was being in in music and entertainment was that your dream or was it? Did you was it? Did you stumble across it? You know, it's so funny you ask that question because people are always like, "Oh, did you grow up with the brushing your hand singing in front of the mirror?" And I didn't. I was just sort of like growing up in church, singing like literally every day. I grew up in a brownstone church. I'm sorry, brownstone building in Brooklyn where the church was like on the bottom and we lived on the top. You know, okay. so like I was always in church, and um, <laughs> so I was singing in church, and I was always in choir rehearsal and you know prayer meetings. It's just like part of my DNA, you know. Uh... And so um, in high school, I started getting these plays and I was like, oh, this is fun. You know, so I think by the time I got to like 13, I remember seeing Mama on the scene when I was 13 years old. We went with the, the church, took us on this church trip to see it. And I remember being up in the balcony and looking down at the stage and thinking to myself, I could do that. And it was, I remember that moment so precisely when I oh. thought this thought, like I could actually do this part, right? And again, it goes back to the manifesting thing and speaking things into existence because Mm -hmm. three years later, my friend called me and he was like, they're having auditions for that show. You got to, you got to audition for this show. And I was like, what? I don't know. So I went to the audition and I booked it. And, um, and then it was just like, okay. And then I stayed in that. And I, like I said, I, I got an ex-girlfriend from there because someone introduced me to someone else and I got the audition and then I went to LA and Benny Medina who's the manager for Jennifer Lopez now he yeah. signed me um and the group to to the to Warner Brothers at that time and then we did two albums with them okay I mean, because as I said when we started most of the uh, of our community kept talking about oh we have to ex-girlfriend doesn't get enough prop you know because back in the day you guys ex-girlfriend you know, was epic yeah ex-girlfriend so... <laughs> was epic but it, it, as I said, but when 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 because you you guys did come out of the the gates, you know, both singing, dancing, you had you had the whole thing. Yeah. Um. But when yeah. we, but I, I think other groups like SWV and um Jane and stuff yeah. sort of, TLC, you know, 90, TLC. yeah, towards the mid and later nineties yeah. got a lot of the push, yeah. and so that's why a lot yeah. of people still remember and still have affection yeah. for you. So, um, when yeah. you when you join the group. And you had Full Force as the as producers because we we've known them from the eighties and into nineties. Yeah. Um, what was mm-hmm. it like being a solo person now joining a group who had been around for together for for a while? Because I know they were called Petite and they were together. So, was how was yeah. it joining into a, a group of girls who've known each other and you the new one? Yeah, it was hard at first, but they they really welcomed me. They mm-hmm. loved my singing. Um, and I was too, I don't want to say I was too shy, but I think I was just a little bit too insecure 
to mm-hmm. think that I could go have my own solo career. So it was like perfect because okay. I felt like, okay, I'll be, I'll be on stage with other people, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, it was just, it was fun. It was easy. I thought, okay, so they're already set up to do their thing and I'll just come in with them. But it, it was hard because they did have a history, the, the three of them. They did have like that time together and it was some resentment, not toward me, but toward the fact that the other girl that, that I replaced that she had messed up because they really wanted her, you know, as part of their dream because it was, it was their dream that they had had for so many years, but unfortunately they, they had to get rid of her. So that was a little bit hard. Um, But they did, they did welcome me and they were very, very excited that I, you know, that I came in and, and I gave them vocally what they were looking for. So in that uh, sense, sorry, go ahead. Please, please go ahead. No, I was saying in that sense, it was it was a really nice blend. They were we became a family immediately. Did did you guys did you join them before being discovered by Full Force or the full, how, how was the time? No, Full Force was at the audition. Full Force was at the audition. They had they had Full Force had already signed them, okay. and they were already on their way. And this girl messed up, and um, it's not for me to tell her story. Yeah, but yeah, no, unfortunately, no. right? She unfortunately they had to let her go. Yeah. And so they held these auditions to look for a new girl. And I came to the audition. Wow. And what did they see in you that yeah. they thought, okay. It's Stacey so funny because <laughs> I'll never forget. I see the, I, I know I see that. I see the room right now in my mind. It's so funny because I remember singing and Bolleg and Lou immediately saying, that's it. Okay. The auditions are, are over. Kidding? And they wow. were like, no. Yeah. He, he literally said that like right after I said, he was like, okay, this is the one. And they were like, no, we need to talk about it. And, you know, it was so funny. And then everybody started laughing. And it, it was because, you know, at an audition, you're not supposed to just get your answer yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. Like people say, <laughs> okay, thank you. We'll call you. And he was like, okay, this is good. This, we're good. And I was just like, wow. oh, my God. So, yeah, he was very funny about that. As soon as I finished singing, I was like, yeah, this is it. You know, I was like, okay. <laughs> so I immediately booked it right on the spot. My goodness. And so, wow. So, yeah. And then you guys go into, I mean, I, 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 you know, you guys, I mean, so were you used to dancing? Because you guys were, yeah. I don't think people give a credit for the fact that ex-girlfriend did amazing choreography yeah. as, as well as singing. And and, and was Thank that a you. hard thing for you guys? To- That's so sweet. I'm so hard. I'm so, I, I feel so like good in my heart that you remember that because we work 10 hours a day. Wow. They made us dance 10 at Monica. <laughs> her name was one of the girls. Her name was Monica. She was like, we got to get this. We got to get this. We're going to sing it and we're going to dance, right? And it was like, she was a great dancer. And so, and Tisha was too. So it was their goal to make us stand out from the rest by being able to really, really sing and dance. So we're like jumping over each other's heads. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing double dutch. And, you know, if you look at one of our music videos right now, you see us like jumping double dutch and jumping over each other's heads. And I broke my ankle and I still went on tour. Wow. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, we we definitely, someone said yesterday in an interview that I did, you were definitely before your time. And I, and I agree. I think I think Ex-Girlfriend was definitely before its time. It, it was, you know, the music was incredible very danceable songs and really great singing, great harmonies. And we did what we did. We 10 hours a day, seven days a week, we were dancing and getting ready for those shows. So wherever we walked on the stage, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty powerful. It was pretty powerful stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But also check out our membership, which is um, a good way of getting some exclusive videos and actually long videos from day one. But thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Sweet.